Flawless F1's review of the United States Grand Prix Sprint, the first one that they've ever actually had there. Now, next up will be the race results, but first, Russell was handed a three-place grid penalty for Austin Sprint after impeding Leclerc in shootout. Now, we'll cover that in our Weekend So Far video. Now, the Sprint shootout results was Verstappen, Leclerc, Hamilton, Norris, Piastri, Sainz, Perez, Russell, Albon, Gasly, Ricardo, Alonso, Ocon, Stroll, Joe Guanyu, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Bottas, Sonoda, and Logan Sargent. Now, now coming up, it will be just a bit of a throw together of some things that I took screenshots of when I. When I was watching the United States Grand Prix this morning and yes it was this morning in Australia because that's where I am at the moment and it is springtime at the moment for all you US people who may be watching it's March for you <laughs> um, yeah so next is just going to be some things I took screenshots of now just a quick thing Stroll actually ended up having to retire on lap 17 out of 19 because he had some brake failure. He had to box and then the team just retired him. So that was really disappointing for Stroll. And Russell was hit with a five second time penalty because he overtook Oscar Piastri outside of the track. So he was he got back on the track overtaking Oscar after so if you think about it Russell drove was trying to take over Oscar Piastri Russell said that Piastri pushed him off the, off the track but the stewards didn't think, think so so but Russell did get in front of Piastri and then was hit with a five second time penalty Joe Guan Yu was given a five second time penalty as well now Oscar Piastri he had a bit of a race break and that was due to early on in the race he had overheated his medium tires because he was pushing too hard so he had to cool them down his race engineer said and that was really unfortunate same for Lando but not as bad so here's just the lap two gained and lost screenshot I took and by the way I could not actually take screenshots I had to take it on the phone I'm filming on because I will get copyright on YouTube if I Take a direct screenshot. So as you can see, it's quite interesting here. No one, well, Magnuson gained three places and that's pretty amazing. Here's the FIA's photo of Russell getting penalty. That is not Russell's car, it's just when they displayed it. Um, yeah, so that was really unfortunate for Piastri, but Russell still finished in the points. He finished eighth, which means in a sprint, instead of the top 10 getting points, the top eight gets points. So Russell got one world championship point. Um, here is the turn one incident involving Albon and Piastri. And yeah, no further action. Piastri got a black and white flag as well from leaving the track too much. So he got an exceeded track limits warning. And uh, look, and that was happening to lots of cars. Now, here's the incident involving cars Magnussen and Joe under investigation. So Joe forced Magnussen off the track, which is why he got that five second time penalty. Now... The Red Bull cars, Max Verstappen did win the sprint, but the problem with the Red Bull cars and, you know, oh, here's the three laps to go, but one of the problems that Verstappen was having and Hamilton reported over radio that this was an issue is that Verstappen was sliding around a lot and uh, he was just going off the track everywhere, which was happening to other cars, but not as much as the Red Bulls. Now... Here is um, the helmet that Max Verstappen is wearing in this clip is actually his special world champion, world drivers championship winning helmet that he has designed. And uh, back to the car sliding around, Christian Horner said that it's just a gust of wind probably that was blowing them. And here is the last lap and this was the final finishing order this so it was Verstappen, Hamilton, Leclerc, Norris, Perez, Sainz, Russell, Gasly, Albon, Piastri, Ocon, Ricardo, Alonso, Snowdo, Hulkenberg, Joe, Bottas, Magnussen, Sargent and Stroll who was out 
But back to that whole slipping and sliding thing. So, here's the Joe penalty. That is not Joe's car. Obviously, that is a Red Bull. Joe drives for Alfa Romeo. Now, back to the Red Bull thing. So, I think that that was happening, that the Red Bulls were sliding around more than other cars, particularly Max Verstappen's, because they don't seem to be super good with their downforce. Like, I mean, they're an amazing car, obviously. They won the World Championship. But I think the Red Bull doesn't have the best downforce of all of the cars on the grid. certainly has good, but not quite the same level you'd sort of want if it's if there's wind and these cars can be easily affected by wind because if you think about it they've got so much aero here's max getting out of the car here so it's it was very satisfying for him and uh, you know i think ultimately at the end of the day the team principals and people are not going to tell you the truth well they will lots of the time but not all the time i don't think that they will be telling you like christian horner he's probably right about that and the only reason why I agree with that is because other cars were sliding around and getting exceeded track limits but if that wasn't happening I definitely say it was a Red Bull setup issue and because those cars have so much surface area that means that wind can really easily affect them now not after this but the next two ones is Verstappen complaining about him losing the rear and Hamilton saying that he's sliding around all over the track which is what I'm just talking about at the moment and Yeah, so I think that the Red Bulls have not as good downforce. I mean, Checo's really good on street circuits, and uh, street circuits often require more downforce, but I think that's because he's just a good, well-adapted to street circuits. But, well, we'll see at Las Vegas Grand Prix, which is coming up very soon, so that is going to be super exciting to see how the Red Bulls perform on that, and actually even though the strip is a street circuit it's not going to require much downforce because i raced on it in f1 mobile because i don't have f123 on my pc and it was actually quite interesting and it mostly has lots of straight but anyway it will be really interesting to see what happens in the race now guys if you enjoyed this video i know it probably wasn't my best but i mean I just thought I'd throw together a few things for the sprint. If you liked it, please like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And please comment, tell us what you think of our videos because that is the only way that I can improve as a person and as a content creator. So thank you so much guys for watching this video and make sure you catch us in our next Flawless F1 video.